Hi, I'm Kat, and tomorrow I have a video shoot at Carmen's Salon. Yay! And so, um, if you've been keeping track on the um, Hair Cutting Fun blog, then you'll know that uh, tomorrow's hair appointment at Carmen's is going to be bubble wrap curls. So, as you can see behind me and beside me, are plenty of bubble wrap. So I went and bought several colors because I love colors. And there is also rubber bands that are colored. Oh my God. So I went shopping for rubber bands uh, last night and Carmen's like, yeah, you need rubber bands. And so I'm like, okay, I'll go get rubber bands. Look at the pretty colors, oh my god. So, can't wait to have these mixed with all of this colorful stuff. And, let's see some, sorry, there's some comments. Ah, uh, let's see if I can view them. Okay, what good clippers for removing bulk? Any suggestions? Um, I'm partial to the oyster clippers. A lot of people like the wall clippers, uh, and then, Put a guard and that's all I'm gonna be able to tell you because I'm not a professional hairstylist so I really don't know I really can't give you too much advice I would say um, perhaps um, there's probably plenty of Facebook groups for hairstylists and whatnot uh, post your question on there or ask your stylist I'm sure they'd be happy to to tell you all right so now for the bubble wrap curlers we'll need bubble wrap so I was looking at what needs to be done for tomorrow and so you'll need of course bubble wrap any color Mo the most easiest color to get is clear but you need colors on eBay and Amazon and then you'll need a ruler a scissors and tape so um, we need it to be two and a half inches wide so just think, the rollers you see me make tonight uh, will be used in tomorrow's shoot. So that's kind of exciting. And so two and a half, <laughs> I'm working in a small opening, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, so two and a half is gonna be relatively short. So right about there. So I'm gonna say it's about my thumb. because I don't wanna keep holding this up the whole time. And then, so it's two and a half wide, but if you want wider curls, like bigger curls, then of course make them larger, or I should say wide, wider. Um, but I think we all like the smaller curls, don't we? So I'd say two, two and a half, and then six inches wide, or not wide, <laughs> long. Oh goodness, it's, it's very late in the evening for me. All right, so six inches is this. All right, so it's about eh, yay big, or I could just cheat and do the first one, <laughs> the correct size, and then just copy it from there. So there we go, six inches right there, and then two and a half wide. And I think Carmen actually wanted me to do the length of my hair. Oh my God! See how long my hair has gotten from like. I think I shaved my head in 2015. So two years later, my hair is this long and I've cut it in between then as well. So, all right, so now I'm gonna go back to finding two and a half. So, <laughs> sure you wanna see. All right. Ah. Okay, so we are going to do two and a half. And it looks like we're at about there. If it's not perfect, no big deal. So, none of my stuff is ever perfect. So. <laughs> All right, so I want, I want like 10 of each, of each color here. There's five colors. And then I will, I'll make two and then I'll show you what this is going to look like. Okay. So yeah, so Carmen actually wanted the length to be as long as my hair, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right, so something like this. Oh, sweet, okay, cool. So I'm guessing this is 12 inches wide. Oh, it's gonna make my life so much easier. Okay, so we can just cut the bubble wrap. <gasps> Down that way, yes! 
I love it when it's easy like that. All right. Okay, so now that we have this, then we are going to fold it over, kind of like if you're rolling a joint. Not that I would know anything about that. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't do that. So, yes, I'm very boring in that aspect, which is fine. All right, so we are going to tape it up. Hope you can see that. And trying to think of a way that you can see it and I can see it too so I can actually tape where I need to tape <laughs> all right and so when you do this bubble wrap curlers uh, the result is gonna be like a 1980s perm so that's gonna be like the result so if you really like the look of that oh yeah I can see why Carmen wants it longer because it's gonna be easier for her because that might work for us but Damn it. Okay, Carmen wins. Don't tell her that. <laughs> but anyway, that would be the length if you wanted the 1980s um, resulting like tiny, tiny curls. So only that's not too tiny. You'll need like the Afro perm rods for that. So I'm going to have to do the whole length like she kind of wanted. Damn it. Ugh. All right, that's fine. She'll be extremely happy with this. So I'm just gonna cut these first, and then I'm going to tape them. So, and I guess I can respond to your questions and comments while I'm doing this, so I don't bore you too much. So, but that'd be kind of fun. So if you ever wanted to do something like this, you can follow along. You'll probably go quicker than me because I like to talk a lot some doing stuff but it's gonna be interesting I've never had this done before so have any of you ever had rag curl curls or what else or perhaps you've done the the bubble wrap curlers so many things and I've seen straws too people are using drinking straws and that's kind of cool too that one I think I should be able to do on my own. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, here there. So, oh, drones and curlers now. Ooh, nice. I like looking at you wearing shirt and tie. Aw, thank you, no one cares. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, Berga, Bergra says, oh shoot, sorry, your comment just disappeared. Let's see if I can bring that back. Okay, um, if you want to cut your hair, you can reach me. I want to cut zero or number one on the hair. Oh yeah, the, the blade of the clippers. I'm not cutting my hair, sorry. But what I've told folks who are interested in cutting women's hair, uh, yeah, there's Craigslist. So you can always offer, you know, a certain amount of money. Uh, to women on Craigslist or guys, whatever. And um, of course, if you wanna like shoot videos and then sell the video, you'll need a model release. And there's plenty of model release templates online, so you can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more. Okay, yay. Then we'll be done with the pink. The pink is a little lighter than I thought it was going to be. I was kind of hoping this pink would be like a neon pink. I think that would be really fun. But that's okay. But the other bubble wrap, the colors are marvelous. So it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. And so I'm trying to, to decide what to wear during tomorrow's video shoot. So I'm thinking maybe stockings and heels and a skirt and then I'm trying to decide if I, if I want to wear a shirt and tie or uh, some kind of blouse so I haven't decided yet I will have to do that soon because I leave early in, in the morning to go shoot at her place okay okay I think I got 10 I don't know I'm really bad at counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. 
Okay. So, that one's done. But look how pretty this pink is. Such a nice feminine pink. Oh, I hope it will look just as lovely tomorrow. Okay. Let's see. Now the green. Okay, let's see. Comments. All right, uh, I, or can I find girls like you on Craigslist and pay the $50 an hour for sitting next to me while playing video games? I don't see why not. I mean, otherwise, if you like playing video games, there are girl gamers out there, so I'm not sure where you live, but if you're on Facebook, there are plenty of, like, geek groups, and, uh, yeah, that's where a lot of people hang out, so I guess... Like, go to Facebook and then search, like, the biggest town near you or something. And um, type in, like, geek. Like, because, for example, I live in the Twin Cities. And there are geek groups around. Um, they are, like, the uh, Twin Cities Geeks on Facebook. And there's, like, I think there's, like, 11,000 members or something. And, yeah, people get together to play board games, tabletop. Uh, video games, all that stuff. So I'm sure there's plenty of uh, geek groups near you. Or you can always start one. Start a Facebook group for video games. And yeah, there's plenty of people who just love that. And again, I live in a bigger city, um, so I don't know what's nearest you. But we also have like these really cool uh, like bars, like the Chatterbox Bar in Minneapolis. I think there's some other locations too, I don't quite remember. But they have Atari, um, the 2600, I believe. That's a lot of fun. I like the old style video games. <laughs> I had the 2600 and then I, as soon as I heard of the 78 Pro, I was like, oh, heck yeah, because the 76 played, or I'm sorry, the 7800 played the 76, or 26 games. And uh, yes, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And then I used to play Qbert and Pac-Man and Burger Time. Oh goodness. So, <laughs> I'm dating myself right there. But no, there's plenty of, of gamer girls out there. One, two, three, four. All right, so I have to do six more and I'll read your comments. Let's see, it's a two-step process. Okay, do they have Sega? Um, I'm trying to think. I, they had a ton of different ones. So Chatterbox has various game systems. I haven't been there for a while, at least a couple of years. You're always welcome to uh, Google the Chatterbox Pub Minneapolis. Again, you'll see the different locations. And then they might list their game systems online. So. And... Yeah, and then, oh yeah, and then there's a new bar in town, well, <laughs> I shouldn't say in town, but in Minneapolis, I think it's called Arcade, and it's all the arcade games, the game systems, you know, the, the stand-up ones, and it's a bar, too, so there you go, you can meet women there, just go there and play video games and drink and meet women, so it's a win-win in my opinion. But yeah, I know I've, my, one of my favorite games is <laughs> Bomberman for the Super Nintendo. So, but yeah, I have favorite games for each system except the, the more newer ones. So I used to play like a lot of, um, oh goodness, I think it was Harvest Time? or har No, Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon. So it's it's been a long time. I still keep the game. I have that for, uh, I think it was the Color Game Boy. The Game Boy Advance, I think. No, no, the color Game Boy. So, and I'm probably boring people with my <laughs> video game talk, sorry. All right. Retro gaming is cool. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, I like video games. I, I had to stop playing games. Um, I had some on my phone. I used to play like Vampire Wars and Farmville. <laughs> My problem is I get kind of addicted to video games, and so I was spending so much time video gaming instead of doing other things. All right, so let's see. Uh, when will you share your hair scraping videos? I'm guessing hair shaving videos. Uh, I will never put full length ones online, uh, just because it costs a lot of money to make. So 
if I were to do um, a head shaving video, that's gonna cost me at least $2,000. And I'm not gonna put that on YouTube, sorry. But there is a little bit of, um... okay, so <laughs> I did tell one person that if the garage was built, so I have a GoFundMe to have my garage repaired um, and I wanna make a studio. So right now the garage has no electricity, uh, like parts of the floor in the attic are missing. So there's been times where I've almost fallen <laughs> from the attic into, um, well, onto the floor and things. So I did say I would probably do, um, film one head shape and put it on YouTube, but only if, um, I had enough donations to have a garage studio. Cause I have nowhere really to shoot. Like right now I'm shooting in a light box and not even at my place. You'll hear like a dog barking so not my place okay anyway one two three four <laughs> I swear I have not been drinking too much one two three four five six seven eight nine okay one more okay oh this one's a little crooked that's okay But of course I put teaser clips on here as well. But yeah, I've there's so many videos I want to shoot and things. So I'm I'm very excited about the future. All right, so that one's done. So let's do yellow. Oh, this is so pretty. And surprisingly the yellow bubble wrap was hard to get. All right, uh, do you think you should take a satin of Make a satin blouse vlog. I don't have any satin blouses. So if you'd like to send me some, go for it and I will wear them and do a video of me wearing it. So go ahead. It's, you're more than welcome to do, that, to do that. I used to do that a lot. People would send me a bunch of things and then I would wear them. So people would send me skirts and what else would they send me? Oh, uh, lots of things. I think there was, what else did I get? don't quite remember some of my older videos where I have like the long blonde hair um, I did a lot of a lot of that so yeah if you see something you you want me to wear I mean of course I'm not gonna be like nude or wear bikinis or anything how do I send them to you um, if you go to uh, my cat surf.com so k a t s u r t h dot com and you go to like the about um, then there's like my mailing address. Um, otherwise, do I have a link? Um, right now, since this video is live, I'm not able to like type a link. I don't think, I don't know. I've never tried typing as I'm doing a video live, but after this video is over, I will put um, my mailing address down below. So, cause, oh yeah. Then like, oh, oh, if you guys ever go to my Instagram page, uh, there's this really cute photo of me wearing a white short sleeve blouse and this really big bow tie. So someone sent me that bow tie. So yes, uh, for that, I think he didn't ask for video. He just said he wanted a photo of it. So, and I can do that as well. And then I'm trying to think, oh, some of the ties that I have worn, I have, uh, I've taken photos with those ties, like the London one that I wore for, I think it was like the, what was it? One of the YouTube videos, I wore a black tie that said, I love London on it. Someone bought that for me and sent it to me. Oh, I do not speak English. I use a translator. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Well, thank you for, <laughs> for joining. So that is awesome. I probably speak too fast for a translator. Sorry. Really? bad habit. I speak too fast at times. Okay. Let's see. You know, it'd probably help if I counted these as I did this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five. I need to do five more. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having my hair washed. Carmen, um, it has a ton of capes. Am I wearing pants? Yes, I am. I'm wearing pants. I didn't feel like shaving my legs. <laughs> I will tonight though. That's my plan. So don't worry. I will be in a skirt tomorrow. Oh, uh, talking with you is very nice. I still think I'm the... Oh yeah, I remember meeting you. That was a lot of fun, Jerome. Yeah, I, 
That was a great day. I, it's nice meeting people. So. Yeah, and then there's people who can meet me uh, in July. I am a part of a panel um, for Convergence. It's going to be in Bloomington. I have to work that day, but I'm going to pop in and do the panel, and I'll stay for an hour. If anybody wants to talk to me, um, you can sit and chat with me for an hour, and then I have to get back to work. And um, the, the panel, unfortunately, is during a really busy time at work, so I'm not telling my boss I'm like <laughs> that I'm leaving. He probably just thinks I'm going to lunch. Um, lunch will be two hours on that day. So, I haven't said anything to him. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm such an awesome worker, he probably won't care anyway, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. But yes, yeah, so... See? Oh, there you go! Geeky Convention! And it's amazing. If you go to, like, sci-fi conventions, comic book conventions. Uh, yeah, there's like video game areas and things like that. See, another great way to make girl. And uh, you get to see women with extremely short hair, their heads shaved bald, long hair, colored hair, just amazing styles. So there you go. Great place to meet women. Just be tactful, you know. Um, yeah, there has been problems in the past where guys would, like, grab women's body parts. I've actually had that happen to me, and I turn around and I need the guy in the crotch because it's not appropriate. <laughs> so I'm not afraid of doing that, so. All right. Now for the red. Oh, my God, look how bright this red is. It is so gorgeous. It's going to go really well with the red cape. Oh, I haven't decided what cape to wear for tomorrow. Got so many. And then Carmen has a ton too. So she's super excited. She was texting me all through the movie <laughs> I was watching today. I had to watch The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 again. Um, so. Alright. But yes. So excited for tomorrow. And then we're going to do um, big hair washing. So lots of hair washing. And then I probably won't be in too many more hair videos. I think I'd rather be shooting the scene. So I'll probably end up doing that. Let's see. If you were cutting male hair, I could... Or if you were cutting the male hair, I could... Okay, the translator didn't work so well. I'm think. I don't know if you're asking if I could shave your head or if you could shave my head or maybe somebody else's not quite sure sorry you can make really small curlers yes so these will be relatively small I'm not trying to make them too big by making them lengthwise because um, Carmen's an older gal and she'd rather prefer to use like more wider things and I understand so, but the width is fine. Oh, and this one, you can just, okay. <laughs> there is like a line for it to be like, you can just tear it off, but it's not tearing very well. So I'll just cut it. Ah! So I'm trying to be respectful with, with Carmen, how she wants these. So it's probably too thin for her, but. Uh... Goodness. I almost want to make like a dress or something with all this bubble wrap. That would be a lot of fun. Or to uh, just like cover myself in bubble wrap and then go on the floor and try to squish it. Try to pop it all. I think that would be fun. Let's see. Is there enough room? Mm-mm. I'll show you. That's, that's my ceiling. <laughs> I'm in a box. So it's kind of like uh, one of those mimes. I think a mime has more room to like move around than I do right now. So for those who are claustrophobic, you probably would not want to be in this. I have maybe an inch behind me. I have a um, good enough amount of space in front of me, but and it's getting warm. There's a there's a light there, a light there, right a light right there too. So. <laughs> 
taking this off after this video is gonna feel so good because I'm hot. <laughs> I can man myself in it. Yes, I could. It is about my size. And I watched a video where somebody supposedly mailed himself across the country in a box, in a shipping box. So he shipped himself UPS and then he had like a um, a bottled pan and then he had like, he only brought like apple juice with him. I would say bring water. So yeah, it was an interesting video. Don't know if it was true or not, but props to him. Let's see. Jerome says I could mail myself to him. <laughs> I could! That's one way to get to Germany. I miss Germany. I haven't been there in uh, many years now. So, let's see. I saw someone left a comment. I will check in a second. Okay, can I see your pants? Uh, yeah, let me. <laughs> uh, I have bubble wrap on each side of me. <laughs> I can't even get up at the moment. So, let me finish the purple. Once I finish the red and I'll, I'll, I will get up, I will move. I'm going to be like this, this gigantic woman in here. All right. So Jad Zia, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced anybody's name. Uh, let's see. You're awesome cat. I've been a fan since the start. You're an original and your comment disappeared. Okay. Uh, you're an original and always be special. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Well, hopefully I'm definitely interesting enough where you guys are like, yeah, I'll watch Cat. Let's see if she cuts herself or <laughs> falls over dead from heat exhaustion. <laughs> I tease, I tease. But no, I really appreciate it. You guys are, you're really, really sweet. And uh, I think everybody's awesome for, you know, supporting me, liking videos or whatever. No, you guys are awesome. And I'm, I'm glad if I can brighten your day, then that is awesome. So, and you guys brighten mine too. So I will read some of the comments you all will send me, and it's like, oh, so thank you. Mm. All right, and now I have to count because I have no idea how many I have. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> two more. Okay, fantastic. And then I get to roll all these up. We're getting closer, but yes, I cannot wait to do the video tomorrow. I haven't seen Carmen for a while. Oh, that one didn't turn out so well. <laughs> uh, will parts of the session uh, tomorrow be live? No, unfortunately no. So tomorrow I gotta, um, it'll be a serious video and it's gonna be, um, I'm hoping it's gonna be less than uh, three hours. Every time when Carmen and I get together and shoot a video, it's usually around like four hours or more. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, comments disappearing. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Someone said something in French, said it was fantastic. Um, so thank you. Uh, there you are. Moon, or Mo Moon. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, thank you. I don't know French. Otherwise, I would say thank you in French. So, if I could learn all the languages, I would do so. I think that would be great. Uh, let's see. Hey, Kat, when are you doing the next head shape video? Uh, well, I kind of need a studio. That's why I haven't been filming a lot of videos lately is because, number one, I don't have a studio. I used to have a studio, and I shot pretty much most of my videos there, or at Carmen's. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot easier to shoot my own studio because it's like right there, I have everything I need. So, and then I don't have to pay like, um, you know, for, because if I have to shoot on location, that's an extra fee, but if I can shoot at my place, then it's just, yeah, I can have more, I have more money to hire more models. So, I really want to get that garage studio going. You have no idea. I've like have been keeping a list of like all the videos I want to shoot. So I've been writing them down. So let's see. Motion says you need a studio. 
You know I need to find you. Oh. One second. <laughs> I wish the chat feature was much easier. Uh, let's see. Um, you know I need to find you and you can shave my hair. <laughs> let's see. So French fan, well thank you. Um, let's see. Motion says, really enjoy your saucy head shave. Yes. Um, <laughs> Head shaves are fun, especially my videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then of course shaving guys' heads. Um, everybody, every guy I've ever shaved their head has really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, I'll have to shoot some more of those too, because I think people have asked to see a few more guys getting their heads shaved. So I'll have to do that at some point. But yeah, there's just so many ideas. And one idea involves like in an abandoned house. So I will have to see if I can find that location at some point. It's just the way I use the clippers. Ooh. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy having the clippers in hand because I like to go nice and slow so that way the person who's getting their head shaved can feel the nice warm blade on their scalp and they can feel the vibrations from the clippers and so I make sure to do that a bit slow and I overpass certain areas of the head because some areas of the head or are more sensitive than others so if you know where to hit those areas on the head, it just sends the chills and shivers down their spine and kind of goosebumps all over. And that's really fun to get the person in the chair to just go, mm, like do a little shake because they're getting all these different feelings and sensations. And that's what I aim for when I am shaving somebody. So, <laughs> with the clippers and the razors. And it's, it's kind of a, I would say it's kind of a tease when you shave somebody's head. And you kind of want to drag it out a little bit. I mean, they know what to expect, you know. You know, the, the shaving and, you know, the brushing off and everything like that. But you want to try to add more to it. And that's what I aim for. And so, it's a lot of fun. Okay. And then I'm nearly done with the purple, and then I can uh, stretch. That says, Sensations, you are the real beauty. You know, I'll stay tuned. <laughs> well, thank you. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I just need to do three more. Yes! We're getting closer. At least for the cutting to be done. Then I have to tape all this. And so. Oh, yes. I'm trying to think of other sensations um, that I like to do. Ooh, something that's a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Drone. Says, uh, he says that she will look stunning in those homemade curlers. I can't wait. Because I've seen like Carmen do like all these different colors of curlers and rollers in my hair. And it's just gorgeous. Just the colors. Love it. If I could have a roller set every day, I would. And that's one reason why I bought a bunch of rollers. If you watched the earlier video, the previous video, because one of these days when I have some time, I really want to try to learn how to put curlers in my own hair. And I already have a friend, I asked her about it too, so and she said she's willing to put curlers in my hair. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. All right. So those are done. So let's see. Drone says I have bought perm rods, and I still don't. Hmm. And I still don't know what these do. How can I email you? Uh, my email address is cat uh, surf at gmail dot com. So that's Oh, I have white. <laughs> I'll just do this real quick. 
cool. I totally forgot about that. I'm just going to guess right about there. But yeah, so it's uh, K-A-T-S-U-R-T-H at gmail.com. Okay. These are a little smaller. Hmm, why not? Okay. That'll be for Carmen to decide if she wants to use them or not. Okay. So, this is my pants. <laughs> uh, I'm very sticky because I'm very, very hot. So, they're sticking quite to me. So, there you go. I'm like, <laughs> what was it, like the 100 foot woman or something? There we go. Oh, and they're very tight too. Oh, get some air in my hair. Let's see if I can escape some of this heat. Oh, okay. All right, now to actually turn these into usable curlers. Motion asks, how do you start a head shave? Do you just be ruthless with, with the clip clippers and be rough? Well, it depends on what you're going for. If you kind of want to be dominant, then yes, you can... Uh, like tie them to the chair you can uh, grip their grip them by the hair and then yank them back while you have the clippers and you can just go Rrr. you know I can't do the noise I'm not very good at sound effects but yeah you can do that that's one way if you want to be rough um, oh. <laughs> You got me thinking about head shaves, and now I'm <laughs> scooping up on my very first one. <gasps> okay, let me try that again. Uh, yeah, sure, I can talk like this. <laughs> anyway, so let's see, head shaves. Okay, so you can do it that way, and then I would say if you're gonna do it rough, um, then uh, let's see. Then you probably don't care if you want to, you know, if you have a cooling using a cooling blade or not, then you'll probably want to go on the lowest setting of the blade. So no guard or anything else like that. And of course, you can just grab them by the hair and yank. You know, move their head however you want. And then you can just go right down the middle or to the side, you know, however you want. And then once their hair is all shorn off, if you're still going to do it kind of um, like dominant, then you can brush them off or not. Um, if otherwise, if you wanted to keep following through, like being kind of mean or dominant, wh however, whatever word you want to use, um, then you could use a flogger and just beat the short hair off. That's an option. Um, let's see. Now, if you wanted to, there we go. <laughs> Yay. So then I just folded this over and I taped it and that's it. And there's your curler. So Cool, and supposedly these are reusable too. So now I gotta figure out where to put these. <laughs> I'll put them right over here. Okay, and then if you wanted to uh, do it nicer, then you can always um, separate the hair and do it in um, sections, clipper the hair in sections, and then of course you just be gentle. And that's where you can go nice and slow. If you do it that way, if you do it slower, they'll feel more of the sensations. And they have time to, to actually, you know, see the hair and just concentrate on the sensations and seeing the hair and just feeling um, like the, the cooling air hitting their freshly shorn scalp. So it really depends on what you're really going after. And then once the hair is gone, then you know you can use um, a duster and gently brush all the hair off. Um, what I found to be easiest is to um, use baby powder. I wouldn't use talic because talic has been known for cancer supposedly. Um, that's what I've read anyway and of course you know it could be wrong but I don't know but I wouldn't take a chance but you can use um, baby powder and put a little bit into the duster when it's sitting upright and then give it a couple good shakes and then you can dust. Let's see. Kat, can you do a ASMR video? Oh. 
Let's see. Sorry, comments are gone. Okay. Um, what you? Okay. Sorry. Uh, what you just said was an ASMR BDSM video. <laughs> oh my God! I want to kill you too. They are. Mm. Okay. Okay. I shouldn't say kill you too. I want to punish them. <laughs> Because they're making the comments disappear too soon. I can't read all your comments. So, okay, I will. I want to punish you two. There we go. How's that? Whoever has decided to make the comments difficult to read, like they disappear, I want to punish them. And so, I can flog them or something. Um, but as for doing those videos, um, I don't know. I I might. So I will have to uh, think about that. Um, of course, I, I need a place. As you can tell, um, you can see I'm getting very red because <laughs> I'm extremely hot right now. So I really do need a place. I would be able to do so many videos and I could do something like that. An ASMR. I did look it up. I think maybe you asked me that one other time and so I looked it up and I watched a couple of videos and I was like oh yeah I can do that that's that's pretty easy um, so I will write that idea down and that will be on my list I, I'm keeping a list of videos I want to shoot once I have my studio because I did say that if people are able to help me get my garage studio I will be able to do a video every single day so having a video every single day will be a lot of fun for you and me. Um, and then of course, after the year's over, I mean, that's 365 days of videos. That's fantastic. But once that year's over, I'll probably still shoot because I have the studio, why not? So I probably just won't do that as much. All right, so no one cares says ASMR video. I'm trying not to scream right now because I can't see comments. I'm sure you're probably getting annoyed of hearing me say that, so I apologize. So I will, I will take a walk after this, after I change. <laughs> I love it that it's summer. I really do. I'm very happy that it's summer, but um, there, I'm in a room when there's no AC. So I'm finding ways, plenty of ways to punish myself. So. Okay, I have to, okay, let's see, uh, oh, okay, I'm sorry, okay, um, do a BDSM video with a, a suit and tie and talk about your fantasy, oh, God, okay, about hair cutting because it made me feel cheer chills when you said it too, yay, uh, let's see, I'm learning so much, Yoshin says that he's learning so much. About head shaves, um, thank you very much. I will definitely do this with practice. Oh, a bit more about head shaves. I also kind of um, tend to go on different topics, but I will try to go back to that one. Anyway, so for either one, what I like to do is you can get some shaving oil from Sally's or any other shaving place. Um, and then what I do, if you wanna be gentle with the person in your chair, then you would put on shaving oil and rub that in. I like to have it warmed up. So if you can take the uh, shaving oil and rub it in your hands first, get it all nice and warm, and then massage it into the person's scalp. That will make the shaving easier. My goodness. So let that sit for a good five minutes. Um, and now, of course, if you want it to be mean, don't use a shaving oil, but if you don't, uh, it'll be pulling with the razor. Um, so it depends on what you're, again, what you're going after. If you want it to be gentle and kind, or if you want to be nice. Um, and then, okay. I'm going to take off my pants. Because <laughs> these are really, really warm. I don't know what material it is, but better okay let's see 
I know, someone said, why don't I use a second device? Jerome said I should use a second device. Yes, I should. I think I tried that and I was having difficulties with it last time. So what I might do is I might do like a test video where I'm just on here doing absolutely nothing just so I can play around with the iPod. Because last time I tried using the iPod and I was having difficulty seeing um, the comments. So this camera, I'm looking at you right now. Um, I can see you, but yes, having a second device would be great. I just didn't have time to try it again this time, but I will do that next time. That is a good idea. Okay, and then back to the head shave. Okay, so once the oil's on or not on, then you can use um, shaving cream. So I know it kind of seems a, real, a little redundant, but it's very helpful to use the shaving oil. Um, the shaving cream is good because um, that's where you can see where you're shaving and it also helps to soften any hair that's left. And what I like to do um, is put the lather can in a heater. So you can get special... Um, like, oh, like Con Air made them. I don't know if they still do, but Con Air made these things where you put the shaving cream in a, in this like little, it's called a lather machine. And the lather machine would make it nice and warm. And so once you've shaved somebody's head, it's gonna feel very cool to them because you're, you are, um, what is it? You're constantly like, most of the heat comes out of the top of your head. I don't remember how much heat, but it's quite a bit. And so when that hair is gone, it's no longer insulated. So it's um, gonna feel quite cold to them, which you can have a lot of fun with. Anyway, so you can use hot lather, which will feel like a dream. It's gonna feel fantastic on their scalp. Um, and then let that sit for a couple minutes and then when you use a razor, I use a straight edge razor. That's what I found to be best because it doesn't uh, gunk up like your traditional two, three, four, whatever many blade razors do. So, um, and then anything left on the head is going to come off like butter. Oh my God, that is fantastic when that happens. Um, but if you want to be mean, um, to the person in the chair, then you don't have to heat up the lather. And if you want them to be miserable, <laughs> I don't know, should I even be telling you this? I don't know. You could, well, it depends on what you want to do. You could use cold lather, or you could <laughs> put uh, ice cubes on their head. And then put hot lather and that'll give them different sensations so it depends on if you want to mind fuck with them or if you want to be nice to them or whatever so it's up to you but uh, anyway so you want to do two passes uh, the first one go with the hair growth how the hair grows and then the second pass then you can go anywhere because everything should be nice and soft so there you go that's how you shave a head <laughs> um, but yes, if you use a straight edge, then you'll want to keep um, some towels on hand to shave or to wipe off the shaving cream and hair. And if you are using a disposable, I would say have a bowl of hot water so that we can shake the the razor in there. So, all right. And then I think someone left some comments. So I will take a look. Let's see. Something to fear says, did you guys know that the U.S. is funding Israel? Wait, uh, I don't know. I don't do politics just because um, I there's so much fake news out there with the real news that and not everybody like fetch pack checks. So it's just easier not to discuss politics. So I'm sorry if that's really your mission. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to talk about it. So, but yeah. And there's so much more fun things to talk about. I mean, not to make light of that, because I'm sure there's lots of serious things happening happening in the world today, and there's a lot of sad things. But what I'm here to make your 
um, day a little brighter, you know, a little more fun to kind of get away from that. So there's so much of that other stuff in the world, but I don't, I don't always make a lot of videos to kind of comment that. So when I do make something, I want you guys to enjoy it, not worry about any other things. There's, there's so many other channels that have um, politicky stuff. And so you can always get your politics over there. And I'm sure the people are a lot more educated in that. Whereas I'm not educated in politics. Um, so I would just look like a jackass. <laughs> If I don't already, I'm sure I do. So, nope, oh, hope that wasn't too loud. All right, any other comments? Ah, okay. So Mike says, I always look great in shirt and tie. Oh, thank you. I have a lot of ties. Sometimes I'm like trying to decide what I should wear next. Oh yeah. And so I bought this really cute vintage tie chain thing. I posted it on my Instagram page. And so I'm thinking I'm going to try to um, wear a solid tie tomorrow just so I can wear that. I'm very excited. I love vintage things. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh my God. That's fantastic. I want that. So I had to buy that. Yeah, one of my little pleasures is going to antique shops, especially in small towns, because you never know what you're going to find. And you always find some really kick-ass stuff. So, and that's where I found a lot of hair stuff, and um, I found some ties, because <laughs> some ties are really cool from that era. They're a little thinner though. That's one thing I noticed. At least the ties that I've found. Could just be the person likes that sort of style or maybe it was popular in the Minnesota area. And someone asked where am I from? I'm in Minnesota. If you can't tell by my accent. <laughs> so I've had people tell me that before that my accent is showing. So there's some words I say that's very Minnesotan. So, I like that. <laughs> so, but I used to have a different accent because I actually lived further south at one point, and that's where I talked extremely fast. So, I've learned to slow down. Although, if I get super excited, then no one can understand a single word I say. <laughs> so. Okay, so I'm nearly done with the purple, yay. Then I just have the pink and the red and the green and the yellow. Goodness. Oh, I can't wait. Tomorrow will be here pretty soon. Or should I do it like this? Should I have it like this? I'm gonna do it the other way. I think this looks kind of cool. Probably should have did that. Oh, should have did that. Okay, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, I've been talking to you all for about an hour, so. Feel free to ask me more questions since I'm still here. Looks like I won't be going away anytime soon. I have plenty of these to do. Ah. There we go. So does anybody have a favorite tie, like shirt and tie combination? Someone wrote to me and said they really like the Pops collars with the top button undone and the tie loose so I did that today I posted on Instagram I have more photos coming oh my god so I went to this really um, cool place to shoot um, the shirt and tie photos and it was abandoned so super cool and I peeked inside some of the buildings. Like, I, you know, it says, you know, no uh, trespassing. So I didn't do that. I didn't trespass. I just stayed in the part where um, it's pretty, I think it's pretty legal to be at. And I looked inside and oh my God, I wanted to go in there ba so badly. Super cool on the inside. It's industrial. And then um, there's a lot of graffiti inside. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so cool to shoot in. So I took some photos. 
I'll probably put them on Instagram at some point. That way you all can see what I saw today. It was, it was cool. But, um, yeah, being the good girl that I am, <laughs> I am not going to, you know, go in there without permission. So, but it would be super cool. All right. So, yay, the wet ones are done. Okay. I need to stretch a little bit. Oh, that feels good. I don't know if you heard me crack, but I cracked a lot. Okay. So, but basically, y'all been watching me for an hour. This is how you do it. So, is anybody else going to start making these and trying these out? If anybody does, you'll have to let me see. You have to send me a photo. I would love to see you in these bubble wrap curlers. Let's see. All right. So. Uh, Yoshin says, thanks for the head shaving tips. I hope you enjoy. Hope you found them useful and you get to try them out. That's going to be a lot of fun. And let's see. <laughs> uh, how, or do you have many vintage ties? I have some. Unfortunately, I had some get ruined because sometimes I would do a hair coloring video and uh, I'd be wearing those and they would get stained. And I've had ties be used for like, um, kind of like gags. So, so instead of a ball gag, we would use a tie as a gag or just to put it on someone's mouth so they couldn't talk. Uh, it wasn't always the smartest because if you did that with a woman who was wearing lipstick, guess what? You just ruined the tie. So, I've had that happen. I lost a couple of my favorite ties that way. <sighs> but it happens. That's okay. Always buy more ties. I probably have a few. I have no idea. I have a, I have so many ties. Um, so, I don't know how many I have are vintage and how many I don't. And I like this one. I don't think this one is vintage at all. But it reminded me of like the 70s when like plaid was extremely popular. But, um, yeah, I had some wool ties. So I don't know if I still have them or not. My tie drawer doesn't always open fully. <laughs> it's kind of falling apart. But that's okay. Um, wasn't designed well. That's why. But ties are a lot of fun. And... I'll probably buy some more fun ties. And I realized I didn't have any red, white, and blue ties. Otherwise, I would have wore one for Memorial Weekend. So, that would have been a good idea. But, oops. Alright. So... I think maybe I will stop this after an hour and then I'm going to get one of my friends to help me with this because <laughs> if it took me an hour just to cut up all these, it's probably going to take me another hour just to make all these. So I will say if you guys have any more questions about anything, anything you want to ask me, ask me it now because I'll probably uh, be stopping here pretty soon. Also, too, it's, it's just really hot. <laughs> I am just going to, like, <sighs> probably get mostly undressed and finish these. So. And, of course, that's not allowed on YouTube. And I wouldn't post me being naked anyway. So. Alright. But thank you, though, for everybody who's staying with me at this, at this time. It's... It's been an hour, so thank you. You guys are very sweet. Appreciate it. I like the big tie. Is, do you like this tie? Is this the one you're talking about? This one is actually a longer tie. You'll see it in an Instagram photo in a few days, I think. I took a lot of photos today, so that way I can have photos for mm, nearly a week, I think. And what I did with this tie is it's short. <laughs> so
and uh, so it only goes up to here and that's because I tied it well I didn't tie it but I had someone tied in the back because I had somebody who was like cat I love you in a tie but your ties are so long you need to wear a short tie so I was like all right I'll make this tie a short tie for this video so there now I'm wearing a short tie although I've seen him go up to here I think he really wanted me to have the tie like stop here and I tried that so I wasn't good at it I'll have to try it again Ooh, and then and then and then then ah so oh. <laughs> I'm still friends with um, some of my ex-boyfriends that's been many years ago and he's really into ties I was surprised and I looked at, I'm not going to say too much because if you guys search for him, then you'll, you'll see who I'm talking about. So I'm not going to say too much. But anyway, so I found out that he was really into ties, or he is really into ties, and he wears ties all the time. And I saw that he had worn these ties, and he would do really cool patterns with the knot. So right now I'm wearing the full Windsor knot. And he can do some really incredible things with the knots. And I was like, oh my God, that is so gorgeous. I want to learn how to do that. And so one of these days, I have some time. <laughs> Me have time, huh? But um, yeah, I want to learn how to do some really, really cool stuff with my tie. So that's one of the next things I want to do. So I'll probably grab one of my solid ties and then learn how to do like the crisscross pattern. I think that's incredibly sexy. So that's what I want to do. That's one of my plans. So we'll see. Okay, where did I leave off at? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get help. I'm losing my mind now. So much bubble wrap everywhere. Ah, there's more. Okay. Let's see. Look at comments one more time. All right, let's see. Long or short, you always look great in them. Aw, thank you, Putt Putt King. Yeah, I'm kind of short, so like back in kindergarten, we had to do these, I don't know what it was, but like all of the students had to go in the nurse's office and they had to measure us or something, so we had to get like naked. I know, weird, or maybe this is common, I don't know. But this was back in the 80s, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so it was just weird. It felt really weird doing it. But she, I remember the nurse looking at me, the school nurse, and she's like, you're built like a tree. And I was like, I'm not a tree. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean I'm a tree? And she said that I am long on the bottom and short on top. So I guess it's true. I have, she meant that I have, I have long legs and okay. I guess I'm short on top. <laughs> That's fine. It works for me. I don't care. But because I'm more shorter on the top, uh, like men's ties are very long on me. And it also could just be that I'm really short too. So I'm actually, I say I'm 5'3", but I'm not really 5'3". I'm like 5'2 and 3 quarters or something. I don't remember. I've probably shrunk since then. <laughs> but just to make things easier, I just say I'm five foot three. That's what I put on my license anyway. So let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. Someone asked a question. Uh, my mom says a big knot is sexy on me. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I like this too. It's nice and firm. It feels really nice. I really like this tie because it's really thick. And it feels sturdy. It just, you know, has some heft to it. And I love that. So I like this tie. One of my favorites. And then someone asked about... Okay, let's see. Uh, Tango says, Cats, please, shave your head. Shave your head for me. Sorry, honey, I'm not shaving my head. I've, I've done that. Been there, done that for many years. I want to grow up my hair. There's so many th fun things I want to do with my hair. So I'm not going to be shaving it just yet. So, yeah, sorry. I don't think I'm ever going to shave my head again. I'm not even sure if I'll be going short again. So, 
Yes. Um, Jerome says, Cat, please get curls. Get curls, you nutty, nutty girl. So, but yes, I will eventually get curls. My hair is finally long enough to do that. And that was one thing I was kind of waiting on was for my hair to get long enough to do curls. And then I've just been really busy and with everything. So, yeah, life's been really busy. All right. I am going to die if I don't get out of this. So I think you guys will pardon me if I leave short. I'm going to get help with these because, <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to take me another hour and I'm melting. So if I was ice cream, I probably would be a puddle on the floor with my tie floating on top. All right. Joan says, no kidding, but my hair is longer than yours. <gasps> Ooh, that, that looks great. So and I've seen you before. You look great in curls and in perm rods. And so, all right. Well, it was nice chatting with you. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. This is Saturday. Yes, it is. <laughs> My days are so busy. Sometimes I don't, you know what? It's late. So <laughs> anyway, thanks again for joining me. Um, you got to see how to make the bubble wrap um, curlers. So as you can see, it, it takes a while to make. So plan on, well, of course, I talked a lot to y'all. Oh, it's Sunday. That's right. You're eight hours ahead. You're in Germany. I don't even know what time it is. Eight hours. And it's... I don't even know what time it is here. <laughs> oh, it's nearly seven. So... I'm not gonna... <laughs> you know what time you're at. It's nearly 7 p.m. here. So it's... Uh, it's 1900 here. I'm not sure what time it is there. But it's nearly 1900 here. Okay, I'm going to melt and I'm going to take off my clothes and I'm probably going to go for a walk to cool off and then I'm going to take a shower. So, oh, I shouldn't wash my hair because Carmen will be doing things with my hair and she'll be washing my hair a lot. So I probably can't touch my hair because, yeah, she has big plans. Oh, it's only six hours where you are. Okay. Someone told me it's eight hours. Or maybe I'm thinking the flight to Germany is eight hours. Maybe that's it. Six hours time difference, but eight hour flight. Got it. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. Anyway, have a great night or morning, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.